you want to have better relationships, you want to feel happier, you want to achieve your dreams and travel the world just like I am, you want to quit your job, you want to speak up to your boss, you want to speak up to your family, you may need some more confidence. And yes, we can be confident in some areas of our life and sometimes we lack confidence in other areas of our life. But this video is going to give you five tips to boost your confidence in the area that you need. And this is a very special video. I'm super excited because I'm partnering partnering up with Eden Gold. She is amazing and she's going to help me with these five tips today. I want you to stay until the end because there's another gift and announcement I want to make at the end. So stay with us. Enjoy this video. Make sure you also go and check out her video. Comment below if you're coming from her channel and comment on her channel if you're coming from me and say hello, right? So confidence. We need confidence in so many areas of our life, whether it's professional, in your work, in your personal life, with relationships. And sometimes you feel very confident in, in some areas and sometimes, you know, we lack confidence in other areas. For me, I had so little confidence when 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 I, I think back upon my life like you know as a kid as a teenager I just I sat in the back of the class I was afraid of what other people would say I was afraid of what other people would think of me I was afraid to speak up in a meeting I wanted to I didn't want to be dumb or stupid or oh my gosh I had I, I can tell you so many stories about how I lacked confidence but I learned I learned to gain confidence because guess what? Nobody is born with confidence. We have to learn confidence. All these successful and famous people that you see, guess what? They were not born with confidence. They had to learn it. I studied confidence. I wrote a book about confidence. I interviewed so many successful big people, big famous people and asked them about their confidence and they all said one thing. We had to learn confidence because we were not confident. That was a common thread. And that's when I had my aha moment, like, oh my gosh, they are not just confident. They had to learn it. They had to take steps. They had to actually, it's a skill. It's a skill like going to the gym. You don't go to the gym once and then create all a fit body and, and, and muscles. You have to go back and back and you have to train that muscle just like you have to train that skill of being confident. And so that's the really brilliant news that I have for you is that you can learn it. I learned it. You can learn it. And so many other people are learning how to be more confident. And so I'm going to start off with um, my tips and then I'll go um, and hand over to Eden for her tips. I'm going to start by saying a quote. And that would be my first tip. My first tip is um, I'm going to start with a quote from Coco Chanel who says, Beauty begins the moment you decide to be yourself. I will repeat, beauty begins the moment you decide to be yourself. But I give a little twist to that and I say, beauty begins the moment you start telling your own story. I mean that you have to start seeing your own uniqueness and stop comparing yourself to others. And that's what is happening so often these days, especially with social media. We look at social media, we scroll down and we're like, oh my gosh, they're so successful and they have it all and I don't. And they look so beautiful and I don't. And you look at that outside picture and you compare that outside with your inside? It does not make any sense. I want you to stop comparing yourself to others outside success. And that is one thing that I really, really learned and that helped me so much because I kept looking at, oh, and they have this and they have that and I want that and I want that and I don't have that. And every time it came back to me saying, I don't have it, so I'm stuck. I just, I just held myself back all these years because I'm like, oh, they're so lucky. They have this and I don't. And I was coming from a place of lack and I didn't, I just looked at others. I was always comparing myself to others, always looking at the outside, outside of me. And I realized to stop doing that and to take a look at me. Remember, beauty begins the moment you start telling your own story. And I started looking at me. I started holding up a mirror and thinking, okay, who is Rachel? 
who am I and, and what is my uniqueness and what do I have to offer and what are my strengths and what are my skills instead of looking at all the others. Because guess what? On social media, you see all these beautiful relationships and businesses and achievements and rewards, but people show their best and they hide their mess. They show their best and they hide. We are, all of us are equally fucked up. We all have good days. We all have bad days. But on social media, we show our best right? But nobody's born with, with, with all the success. No, we put in the effort. So I want you to look at yourself, start sharing your own story, start looking at your own uniqueness, look at your own dreams, your own goals and go for it. And the moment I realized that I'm like, oh my gosh, I want to grow on YouTube. I want to be an online entrepreneur. I want to travel the world. And I stopped looking at all the others and I'm like, yes, this is what I want. And I'm going to go for it. And I looked at my skills. I made a plan and I started achieving that. So here I am in this beautiful location. Why? Because I grabbed this. I, I, I trained myself to be more confident and I started taking the steps to achieve that. But that's another story. So stop comparing yourself. My number two tip is, and this is really, really, really important. And that's also how I gained much more confidence. It's surround yourself by the right people. I talk about that a lot. There's the energy vampires and there's the positive spirits. And I, I, okay, I'm going to be really honest. I love my family. I really love my parents. But if I would only listen to them, I would have never been here where I am and, and having this online business. Never. Because they're, they're lovely people, but they're very conservative. They just wanted me to be safe. Did you watch, by the way, my video about the crabs, um, you know, keeping you safe in the, in the bucket? Um, that's a story that I want you to watch. But anyway, going back is, is your family wants to keep you safe in your comfort bubble. And yes, I had a beautiful corporate job and, and, and stay there and you have good money and financial security and stay there, Rachel. But no, I want you to travel. I wanted to grow online. And so I started to look at people, you know, that were doing what I wanted to do. I started, you know, surrounding myself and talking to those people who inspired me. And those are the ones I want you to surround yourself with, to seek those people who are doing what you want to do and go towards them, have conversations towards them. The more you surround yourself with confident people that are doing what you want, the more confident you will become and you will notice that you can do that too. If they can do it, so can you. But if you keep surrounding yourself by people who are holding you back, that's exactly where you will stay. So really, really important to start surrounding yourself by the people that are inspiring you, that motivate you, that are pulling you and pushing you through, right? So your tribe is super important. Now, for the next three tips, I want Eden to take it away. Go ahead, Eden. What's up, everybody? Eden Gold here. So when we lack self-confidence, we are seeking validation from others. This is subconscious, but... When we don't believe in ourselves, when there's that gap there, other people's opinions matter way more to us. So we take what other people think of us as gospel. So what can we do about that? How can we build confidence in ourselves? Well, I believe it was put best by an amazing man named Ed Milet. He says, confidence is the act of self trust building self-trust with yourself so keeping the promises that you make with yourself so when you start to set goals for yourself and achieve those goals you start to build this rapport with yourself this self-trust with yourself and after each little success you will begin to feel more confident in yourself and your abilities and you can go on to reach higher and higher and more great things for yourself. So start small, have those small wins and capitalize on that. Number two, separate your confidence with how your physical body looks. Now let me explain. Maybe not everybody falls into this category, but a large majority of people do because many people are not happy with the way that they look. And I get that. Maybe there are some sort of changes that you want to make and that's okay. 
But there is so much more to you than being a body. And you'll find that the more confidence you build with yourself, the more you're able to go out for a drink with your friends, go out to a nice restaurant and splurge a little bit and not feel guilty the next day like you've let yourself down. So we want to separate our self-worth, our self-confidence from the way our body looks because you are so much more than a body. Number three, humble yourself. I want you to just see, see what you can learn from every encounter that you have, every interaction that you have. You never want to be in a place where you're shutting down the ideas and the opinions of others because you think that you know it all or you know more. And you know what? You might know more and it's fine if you do, but see what you can learn from everyone around you to continue to reach new heights and learn and grow. The best thing that I ever did for myself and building confidence in myself is educating myself. And although that can come in the form of a video like this, it can also come from the encounters that you have every single day. Remember, it doesn't matter what anybody says to you or what anybody thinks about you, you can always learn for it, learn from it, right? So if somebody judges you or or is mean to you, know this, hurt people hurt people. So what they say doesn't matter, but you can learn from it and understand that that person has a lot going on in their life. And so that's what you can learn from that situation is we're all going through stuff. Right, you don't have to take it seriously or personally if you choose not to. You can choose to humble yourself in every situation to continue to grow and build on this confidence that will be a ripple effect over time. So those are my three tips. Of, <laughs> those are my three tips with confidence. I hope you enjoyed them. Eden Gold here, and I'm so thankful that you're here learning today. You're taking a great step to bettering your mental health. That is awesome. Eden is just amazing. Thank you so, 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 so much. I love this video. I love partnering up and we're going to do more of these. Um, and tell us in the comments below if you enjoy this, um, this video, but there's more. Okay. We're talking about confidence here, but it also like, you know, you may be thinking, yeah, confident, but you know, it's scary. And, and, and I don't know how to talk to these other people. I don't really know. It's, it's, I'm just afraid. Well then go and go to Eden's, um, video about five tips to overcome fear. There are super important tips in there that will help you to overcome the fear and then also grow your confidence, right? So please go ahead and check that video, comment, say hello from me and that you're coming from my channel on her channel and vice versa. Say hello here if you're coming from Eden's challenge, uh, channel and um, comment below, please, if this was helpful, what tip did you prefer? How are you growing your confidence? What is the goal that you want to achieve? And if you want to talk, please, please, I'll put the link below um, to book a call with me, to have a talk with me. I'm very, very open and flexible to talk. I want you to achieve your, your dream and your success, right? So I'll put um, Eden's link of her channel here below, her video here below, um, a call from me here below. Just check the comment below, write in the comments, and I will see you next week. And don't forget to subscribe and like and comment, right? Thank you. Bye.